So we're back here in Early Access for the Retrievers, two days until they officially release on all platforms, and we've got our level 25 Shadow here, looking to go all the way up to level 30 today, and see what a max level Retriever can do. So, I was trying to come up with what map to hunt, I was trying to think of something creative to do, and frankly, Reventuli Coast is just the best option. For Class 1 animals, that of course is what the Retrievers can do, they can retrieve any Class 1 animal in the game. There's the most here, there's the most opportunities here, and we're gonna hunt here. So, looks like a potential perfect start here. Got a flock of rock ptarmigan flying by. There's one going like down that way. Hopefully, we can get as many of these as possible and get a shadow started off on the right foot on this hunt. That's three. I'd be willing to bet there were more. And I've got a couple of things that I really wanna focus on today. Number one, get her up to level 30. And just, you know, see what kind of range, what kind of speed, everything a level 30 retriever can do for us. Another thing I want to see is if we can get any kind of interactions with Caper Kaylee. We know Caper Kaylee will go aggressive and actually attack a dog, or at least a bloodhound. And I'm curious if they'll do the same with the retrievers. So, I think that already got her to level 26. Four levels to go. And she's got two more birds back here to go and get. And a couple of potential bonus skills here. Two male black grouse. We're sitting down here beside us. Now, technically, we could just smoke them off the ground, and I guess maybe for one of them we will. I'd like to shoot stuff out of the air, but they're kind of making that difficult by not actually flushing. So, really curious here. There was a timing thing that happened, and she's still going to go and claim those things. We did find out on stream, anything you shoot while she's in that retrieving phase, she'll still bring back. We already knew that you don't have to hit retrieve every time. Say you shoot five birds, hit retrieve once, she'll go and get all five birds, at least that are in range. Not sure that that one was out of range, so I'm not sure why she didn't go and get that one. But what we did learn was if she was in that retrieving mode, say you shot five birds, she's picked up three of them, and you shoot two more, she'll still go and get those two as well. So I'm kind of unsure why she didn't get that. That looked really good. I feel like the, the Black Grouse is the perfect size for the retriever and the animations you have when they're bringing it back. And... Maybe there was still a Tarmigan up there? I'm actually not sure what she's going to get this time. Oh, now I know what it was. So I left this Tarmigan laying up there on the road, and this is another thing that we determined during the stream. If you kind of enter the retrieval mode again, and there's some birds that you haven't picked up, your retriever will go back and get those. And while that can maybe seem kind of annoying or superfluous, it actually is kind of nice for something like that. And I believe based on what we were looking at, I don't think you get additional XP. I don't think you can exploit that and retrieve one bird 500 times to get her up to level 30. Now, you know, I was kind of hoping to find this Hazel Grouse and flush it, but Grouse don't need to be shot out of the air to get the full score. It's around 130. We're going to blast that. And we have, with the traits, increased the range with Shadow Can find stuff. With this level, I think it's the level 15 trait, Bold, your dog will run further away in search of something for it to retrieve. So, we're looking at... I want to go like 101 meters and see if she can find it. Just curious if she can find things over 100. And I'm just going to stand here so that we don't fluence anything at all. And there you go. Picked it up right off the road. And she's going to bring it right over here. And much like the Black Grouse, Hazel Grouse being in that same kind of size range, I just feel like that animation, it looks really, really clean as she's bringing that back. Way better than like mountain hare and the geese and turkeys actually look okay, but I feel like that looked better. Nice little 381 silver. Hazel Grouse do look nice. And that's one other thing that I thought of with this. I can't tell you how many times we've been hunting through the mountains of Reventuli Coast and a female Hazel Grouse flies by. And a lot of times I won't shoot it because I don't feel like going and getting it. Hazel Grouse, like a lot of bird species, you only get respawns if you shoot both of the pair, like the male and the female. I've got a bunch of random solo females around that I haven't shot. Maybe now when they fly by, I can just blast and let Shadow go and take care of it. That's rather useful. That's a pretty good estimate. 116 to 126. Now the thing is, there at least were supposed to be, I think that's the other one we're looking for, two male black grouse up in this area. That's 116.61. Kind of forgot to retrieve it, so I'm just going to let Shadow do that. That's our other one. I'm not sure where she's going, and I'm curious if it's because we've already entered the harvest screen. She's just going way off in that direction. There's nothing up there. And then she's going to go to that max distance, which is about 100 meters. 
and then come back and basically tell us there was nothing to retrieve. I gotta assume it's because we already entered the harvest screen. What I'm gonna do is let her come back here, get to that point, and then enter the retrieval mode again. I think she's still gonna go and get both. That's our second one that we haven't seen the score of yet. 110. So I think it just barely would have been in that higher estimate. And then, indeed, she's gonna go and get the other one. Now we've seen that already, so we'll just go ahead and claim that. Fraser to get that extra bit of XP, and I did see we're a little low on the bond now, so we'll go ahead and give her a treat to get that back up. Well, first Caper Kaylee, no such luck. But a flock of ptarmigan in the meantime, I'm not sure if we just sprint over here, that one's going to get away. But I think we've got a real chance of getting three or four of these things. Just a matter of where they flush and if we can hit them. We didn't even hit the one I tried to hit there. But we got two, three, and probably could have been four anyway. If we did that in a better order and just didn't shoot at the far ones, we're going to go ahead and let Shadow take care of that. And in the meantime, maybe try to determine where that Caper Kaylee went. Also, I don't know if it's maybe the two that had landed here, or yeah, I guess it would have been. They're flying back over us. Still don't think that one ever actually went airborne. That'll give Shadow plenty to do. Trying to make sure we continue to praise her every time she retrieves one. She's leveled up as the Retriever level to 13. About halfway through 28. I don't even know what's retrieved, what's not. Just gonna keep on letting her do her thing. And I don't know what, we killed five there and we still wanna go and get that Caper Kaylee. I'm just gonna chase that and basically let it attack us eventually. Okay, I don't know how that works. I just shot a rabbit. And we went from halfway through 28, maybe three quarters, all the way up to like, done with level 30? We'll take it. We can then get the final trait and you know brave warden off predator attacks probably useful for something i think retriever and getting that longer distance and being less burdened by carrying harvest is the way to go i'll show you right now shadow is currently on alert and it's because she's been sitting there for a minute she was tired just a second ago it should slow how quickly she gets tired from carrying you know geese caper kaylee as we're trying to find that one things like that and that no doubt helps too. You know, go figure, when we're not hunting Caper Kaylee, whether it was Witch and Hunts or hunting for, you know, the Revan Julie Coast single player only diamond challenge, all the stuff that we did, the amount of times we were attacked by, I mean, the amount of times we were attacked by Diamond Caper Kaylee was absurd, let alone just being attacked by Caper Kaylee as a whole. Today, no such luck. That's going to level up Shadow again, and I'm curious if that brings her to 15. Should have brought her to 14, and I guess the Retriever part works correctly? I remember though with Companion and the Bloodhounds, I think leveling up to what should have been 29 brought them to 30 as well, so kind of explains that side of things. So we're gonna go one more on the Retriever, and I think it's about 8% per Retrieval. So, what is that? We gotta get about 12 more or something like that? What? The heck? That's absurdly rare. A level 3 mountain here. We've only ever gotten one of these. Shadow's gonna be a part of this one for sure. You know what's crazy too? So this doesn't count. This early access, I think there would have been a way to maybe keep our progress, but the way that we have it set up, we wouldn't keep progress. However, I do think we gotta come back here like on our live save, it should be there. It should be the same population file and stuff. That I'm actually not sure about. And now I'm just now realizing we probably should have taken the time to make sure we'd be able to keep our progress because that's insane. I'm gonna screenshot this and I guess we'll come back here. A level three mountain air. Shadow has just brought it back to us. We'll go ahead and praise her for that. And it is a diamond 5.94. Hit it in the head, in the ear, shoulder, back leg. I guess we'll tax it. That's insane. I mean, we've been all over Revan Thule. Since this early access for Retrievers started, we began right here, we've shot dozens of Ptarmigan. On stream, we were, I mean, not only were we here, we were on Hirschfelden, hunting Canada geese. I think we went to Rancho for a while, hunting pheasants. 
we duck hunted here for the diamond that we just got to be a mountain hare. After we've been chasing Caper Kaylee, we've been after hazel grouse, black grouse, all of these things. That's literally insane. So I've been doing a little goose hunting. And we've got Shadow to 99% of the way to the maximum level in Retriever. And this goose that should be just up here ahead of us should let us reach level 15. I'm not sure if it happens when she actually picks up the bird or when, but we should get to that. And I just want to see, like, what is the distance at which she can actually feasibly go and retrieve something. I'm hoping at least 150 plus, and that we should be able to go and find out right now. So, little goose there that we hit three times with the 22H. She is now the maximum level, so let's go see what we can do. Now in the meantime, we've just not had any luck with aggressive Caper Kaylee. That one's gonna run off, and I actually wanna take it where we can see it, so that we can mark it and pretty much test the range of our retrievers. So I think we actually marked beyond it. Let's try that again. Want that right around 30? So let's just try this. I'm gonna go to like 205, because if you can go and find that, we know that somewhere beyond 200 would be the range and of course we're talking about a now max level retriever with the bold trait that allows her to run further to search for something to retrieve and the retriever trait just retrieving at longer distances and being less burdened by carrying harvest so i'm going to kind of watch on the map to see what she does and it's looking like at least over 200 isn't going to be a possibility so Let's go into maybe 155 and try it again. No luck at 155, but I watched her go down there. She got pretty darn close. My guess then would be something like 150 is going to be the range. We'll go to 140. We'll try this one more time. And I do believe this time she's going to be able to get it. If 150 is the range, I still think that's pretty decent. Most things that you even wing with the shotgun aren't going to get much beyond 150, especially if you shoot them at close range. Things that you pop with the 22, you may have to move in that direction to let the retriever go and find it. But based on where she just ended up, she must have gotten it. Now we can see returning with the harvest. No aggressive caper, Kaylee, but at least we got one there. And if I could make one suggestion, it would be maybe some kind of trait to be able to add. We brain shot that, by the way. Some kind of trait to be able to maybe make the retrievers go a little bit further. I thought of like... You know, maybe if it was a spotted animal, if you spotted it, you know, close to where it dropped or something like that. Something in that realm that could help out. I think that would be nice. But again, 150 meters is pretty darn far. I, for anything you shoot with a shotgun, you should be fine. And for the most part, I think that's going to be what, you know, type of animals we want her to go and get anyway. But she did retrieve one of the rarest diamonds in the game as her first diamond retrieval ever. And we got to go and put that back in the lodge even if this progress doesn't officially count. And just because this progress isn't going to officially count, I think the best thing to do is going to be take down an old diamond bobwhite quail, throw our new diamond mountain hare here, just to the side of where Shadow is laying here in her bed. That's another thing I wanted to mention. I did talk about it on stream. I'd really like to see maybe your last active retriever and your last active bloodhound in the lodge. I just think it'd be cool to have both dogs there if you own both DLCs. Just a, a neat little easter egg, at least here in Saseka Safari, it would be super simple to throw another dog bed here. I know it's another asset to render in and all that stuff, but I just think it would be quite nice. So, we do know we, at least in theory, have a Diamond Mountain Hare waiting on our main save when we go back. Hopefully we can go and get that. Probably won't make another video or anything. If we can find it, just go and get it and put it in the lodge, because of course we got it today. And, uh, pretty darn cool. For Shadow's first Diamond Retrieval, to be a mountain hare of all things on Riven Tule Coast. But anyway, that is going to do it for this video. So as always, thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you next time.